Hello, welcome to Cycling Tips at Dave here, and I am at the start of Paris Nice 2022. I'm outside the UAE Team Emirates Team Mechanics truck, and I've managed to sneak this thing away. Joe Almeida's Cornago K1 TT bike. <laughs> I'm hoping that's just uh, water from the shower. That number one stuck on the back there dictates that this is his primary time trial back. He does have a spare, obviously, just as fancy and exactly the same setup. That stem isn't actually made by Richard Milley. Believe it or not, unsurprisingly, a watch company doesn't make stems, it's custom. What's really interesting here is we've got the Bora WTO 77 up front and the Bora Ultra on the rear. They've got different tyres on them. We've got tubulous Pirelli P0 TM race up front. And on the rear, because these wheels only come in tubular, not tubeless, is the P0 Velo TT in a 25. One millimetre difference between the two. Another interesting thing to note is that even though this is all Campagnolo group set, it's slightly different. Super record, super record up front. Super record here, and I'm pretty sure that's super record. But the rear is only a record rear derailleur. That does come from Pro Logo, long time sponsor of the team. The bottle is Elite Chrono CX, a nice little thing that tucks away, keeping the bike that little bit more aero. The power meter comes from them originators, SRM. Tucked away underneath that little bit of plastic is the EPS group set's uh, junction box. That little mount there is for the SRM head unit. There we have it, one very fancy time trial bike. One uh, that I'm guessing costs a pretty penny. Another fancy call now go from the team, this time the V3 RS, this one's owned by Polank. Let's have a look. We are seeing a bit of a trend at the moment, the first time I saw it was two years ago with I think it was Val Verde's bike over at Movistar, that trend being tipping your levers in just slightly so when you're on them uh, tops you can hook your hands over a little bit easier. Also, maybe it's a little bit more ergonomically better for your wrist. I can't say, I don't do it myself. Now, as this is his spare bike, the one that goes on the roof, is not actually running the Bora WTO tubeless wheels that we usually see them rolling on. Instead, he's got the spare wheels, the Campagnolo Bora 150s. These are actually a tubular wheel set, unlike the WTOs, which are tubeless. You'd say it's a downgrade, but it certainly isn't, is it? Oh, come on, lads, get them stickers off. Tubulars are from Pirelli. The group set comes from Campagnolo, it's a super record EPS. Even as his spare bike, it's definitely had a fair bit of use from the look of those chain rings. The chain rings being a 53-39 setup with what looks like be a 12-28 outback. We've got Dedder's Alanera, one piece bar and stem. This to me looks like a 42.
there we have it. Not a bad little bike, is it? What do you reckon? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, like, join the conversation. You know what to do. And until next time, thank you for watching and enjoy your riding.